Hey guys, um, got a new little toy today. Um, I lost my phone and that was like two months ago, so I'm going off to college and need a new phone, so I was looking around and I was on AT&T before, I had my W580, and yeah, I saw on Best Buy, um, their little, uh, ad here with the NV3. And on the website it says it was free if you were a two-year contract. So um, I went to the Best Buy store and I picked this up. Uh, unfortunately, they had to open it up and turn on the phone and put the battery in and program it and everything. So it's not like a real unboxing, but I didn't touch the charger or anything, anything except the phone. So I'll just show you what's inside the box here. It's a really, really small box, by the way, yeah. So the phone, well, it was sitting, like, right there in, like, a bag. So now it's on and functional and, yeah. And I've been playing around with it for the past, I don't know, 15 minutes or something like that. It's pretty cool. So pretty similar to, I guess, all cell phone boxes are like this now, W580 box. To lift that up. Some other box, another flat, yeah. And you get USB cable. Yeah, see. yeah micro. Micro USB. Yeah. Put that there. No. Here's a charger. Uh, there's a USB port on the end of it here. So you plug the USB cable into this and then the USB cable into the phone. So you don't have to buy a separate data cable if you want to take pictures off your phone and stuff like that. So it's like this thing is really convenient. And I bet this thing can charge like your MP3 player or your Blackberry or anything else you have. Just look up the, the amperage to make sure it's compatible. That's pretty convenient. Yeah. Tips, hints, and shortcuts. I actually, this phone's actually pretty fully featured, so it would actually be a good idea to read this, so. Pretty thick though, I'll do that later. So, that's everything that's in the box. Um, just some barcode and crap, and on the side it says, yeah, it comes with all that. And nothing else. Yeah, nothing else. Alright, so here is the phone. So yeah, this one looks like I got the blue one. And I found it odd that the red one had like a little more red around the phone than this one. This thing is just blue right around the edge here on the front and everything else is black. Like the red one had the inside, the, the entire inside here was red. This is just black. And yeah, that's all black too. But yeah, yeah, this is what the inside of the phone looks like. And uh, it looks looks pretty good. I mean, I've never had like a messaging phone like this with a full query before, so it's really interesting to, to be able to use it and type so fast. I'm really impressed at you know how I how quickly I can type on on this thing. And I have pretty big hands, but. They're, the keys are really big, there's good space between the keys, and they feel really good when you press on them, so it's really, it's really good. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I'll take a quick tour around the phone, so here's the external screen. You can see most of the stuff that you want on here. Um, pretty much you get volume rocker on this side, the camera button there. And then there's the earpiece, there's a little hook thing there so you can, you know, attach like Mushmaro or whatever you want on there. There's a 3 megapixel camera with a flash. There's a battery. Um, here's the headphone port. And it's, uh, it's a 2.5mm, so you won't be able to use your iPod headphones or whatever other headphones you buy at a store. You're going to have to buy an adapter for this phone to make it into a 3.5mm jack and then use your headphones. So a little bit of an inconvenience there, but that's okay. I have, I have an iPod, so that's okay. 
Um, here is the micro SD slot. Sorry about the focusing here. I should turn the macro on, I always forget. Anyway, yeah, there's a micro SD slot. It takes up to 16 gigabyte cards, so this thing can definitely, like, you know, hold as much stuff as you want it to, really. Um, so, yeah, here's the front of the phone again. And it's pretty pretty compact and pretty thin. I was thinking about getting the MV Touch, but for one, this thing was free. That thing was like 150 after contract or something like that. Um, after an instant rebate, too. And, yeah, I mean, there was a touch screen on the front, and dual 3 screens is really amazing, but it was a little too fancy for me. I didn't really need it. I mean, most of the time, I'm, I'm just going to open the phone up and use it like this. Don't really need the fancy screen up front. So, it's really compact, and pretty slim so it'll slip right into my pocket and for size comparison here's an iPod touch so if you can see um, it's slightly shorter uh, thickness wise you know the iPod touch is impossibly thin so it's probably like what over twice as thick probably uh, but that's okay I mean I guess the first layer of the keyboard layer of the NV is sort of similar to the iPod in thickness, so yeah, it's pretty good. If the, if this, if the iPod Touch had a keyboard, I'm sure it would be as thick as the NV. Um, so yeah, um, I mean, I've only been using this phone for 15 minutes or something, so I don't really know how it works, to be honest, but yeah, as soon as I get to learn all the stuff that's going on with this and use it for a while, I'll give you guys a full review so you guys know if you want to purchase it, you know, it just came out, I don't know, a couple weeks ago or something like that, so it's a really new phone. Um, I know the, a lot of you guys probably, everyone in my school has a, the NB2, now the improvements I believe are a, the 3 megapixel camera with the flash, um, there wasn't a flash before and it was a 2 megapixel unit on the NB2, um, there's a full HTML browser which I probably don't want to use because I don't have the data plan and I'm going to get raped with like charges so probably not going to do that um what else is there like the keyboard layout's a little changed like the space bar is here instead of on the side here so it makes a lot of sense it's a lot more like a computer keyboard now there's a favorites button there there's a what is that there's a messaging button there um and everything seems really good um i just played like one of the default ringtones on here uh just like just before I shot this video, it's really, really loud too, so it's cool. The screen is great. Um, it's a 2.6 inch QVGA display. Um, looks really great. The external screen is really not too bad either, and you can get through a lot of the you know necessary stuff you need. Call people, text people. You know, you can even get to your music and pictures. So it's pretty impressive. So um, pretty, really functional uh, external screen, and the keypad is really, really big. So really comfy. Um, for big hands like me, like mine, so that's really good. Uh, yeah, other than that, there's two soft keys here. Um, so here, in this case, like messages and contacts, and the menu. If I wanted to get to the menu button, that would be the center button on the D-pad, right here. Um, I'll go into the menu really quick. I'm really sorry about the focusing. Um, so let's see here, there's my ringtones, I believe you can customize this any way you want in the settings. Um, recent calls, messaging, my ringtones, contacts, media center, email, settings, mobile IM, which worked really well, VZ Navigator, which I probably won't use because that's extra on the bill too. Alright, so overall, I mean, really great first impression, I'd say, I mean, this is such a cool phone. I mean, I've never had anything this cool before, so looks good. The battery life, I mean, I don't really know, but I didn't really charge it. Like, the, you just put it in at the store, the guy who was activating it, and it came with, what, three bars of battery life, and it's been staying that way, you know, for a couple hours now. So, yeah, I'm going to use it a little bit and tell you guys, you know, how I like it and stuff, and if you guys should get it or not. Um, but... Best Buy, definitely um, check out Best Buy Mobile's website. They have this phone for free with a two-year contract, and Walmart had, like, the Samsung Omnia for free, so um, check some uh, retailers out before you go to the Verizon store or, or any, for any other carrier, for that matter. All right, thanks for watching.